Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy CJ Beastly here, back for another battle of the RWL. This week we are taking on Jerry the Boss 62, coach of the Harrisburg Himonlees. Um I've honestly I've never battled him before. Um he just I believe he just took over this team quite recently. Uh his record's pretty good. He's in my same division. Um Right now, um, if you haven't watched the last videos, uh, go ahead and watch those before I spoil anything. Well, I guess it's on the thumbnail anyways. Um, but we are 4-1 right now. We did just beat Kohan, um, the undefeated Kohan. So uh, we're looking pretty right now. Um, so we're just trying to keep this winning streak going. Um, so let's just hop right into it. So looking at his team, we got Clefable, Ferrothorn, Uxie, uh Rotom Heat, uh, Mudsail, Pinsir, Naganadel. I hope I said that right. Keldeo, Mandibuzz, uh, Komala, and Mega Glalie. Um, so he has such a great defensive core, to be honest. Like Mandibuzz plus Clefable plus Ferrothorn just kind of kind of sit in front of my team and don't really want to do a whole lot. Um, or it makes my team not want to do a whole lot, rather. Um, so his, his defensive core is going to be really hard to break down for my team. Um, other things I noticed is Naganadel. I really don't have a switch into that thing. Um, everything really doesn't want to take um, pretty much anything this that mom wants to go for, so uh, that's kind of a problem. Um, other things I notice is um, Rotom Heat also has a really good matchup against me, um, besides the Cray Dilly, but even Cray Dilly doesn't really want to take an overheat that well. Um, and Mudsail just kind of is annoying as well. Like he has a lot of mods that are just kind of really annoying to my team, and I I don't know. I don't know. It was it was it was really difficult to try to cover all of them, but we 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 tried our best. So let's just hop right into the team. Um, so first, we got Deathstroke, our Mega Glade with the Glade Eye, Justified Sword Stance, Ice Punch, uh, Close Combat, and Poison Jab. Uh, four HP, four Defense, four Special Defense, Max Attack, and two forty four Speed with a Jolly Nature. Um, this allows me to outspeed. Keldeo at max speed, and then the rest I just pretty much poured into uh, attack, and then I just kind of spread around the last few EVs. Um, this coverage does so well against this team. Uh, pretty much every time this comes in, um, it gets a KO, um, besides obviously like the Clefable, um, and especially if he's unaware of Clefable, that's going to be really annoying, which I expect him to be. Um, so that set's going to be really annoying. Um, but yeah, so Ice Punch covers a lot of his threats, um, plus close combat pretty much hits everything on his team, at least neutrally, if not super effectively. Um, and especially, they don't, nothing really wants to take plus two anything, even Mandibuzz after rocks will be okayed by uh, close combat. Um, and the Poison Jab is pretty much just there for the uh, for the Uxi, just to hit that thing neutrally, and the Clefable, obviously, um, to two-shot that thing, or three-shot, depending on his bulk, so... Um, I thought the set was really good. It kind of tore down his team. The only thing that he had to outspeed it um, was a Naganadel, so I felt pretty confident in this. Um, next, we got up our Wasp, uh, the Rebombi, with Choice Specs, Shield Dust, Moonblast, Psychic, Trick, and Sticky Webs. Um, with 12 HP, 4 Defense, 4 Special Defense, Max Special Attack, and 236 uh, Speed. Uh, this thing's uh, EV spread was kind of the same situation as uh, Gallade. Basically, I just outsped the Naganadel and just poured the rest into special attack and just kind of spread around the rest of the EVs. Um, so what this set allows me to do is basically if I don't bring Hidden Power Fire, um, the Ferrothorn comes in every single time for free if I don't have Hidden Power Fire. Um, and I didn't really have room for Hidden Power Fire because unless if I'm plus one Psychic or Moonblast doesn't Oko a Naganadel. So I was having a really like, hard time uh, coming up with this set. And then um, one of my front office people, uh, shout out to Goldo a Dragon, but he uh, he suggested that I bring Choice Specs with Trick. Uh, and I thought that was a really good idea. Um, nothing really wants to take a Choice Specs Moonblast or Psychic. Um, that pretty much covers every single thing on his team, and nothing really wants to take that or switch in. Um, Trick, like I said, is for the Ferrothorn. Um, once he learns I don't have him power fire, he's going to want to bring that thing in so I can trick on the choice specs uh, pretty freely. Um, the Sticky Web's obviously just there for uh, reducing the speed. Um, it's also there in case, like, Naganadel gets to plus one. Um, as long as I have Sticky Web's up, um, the plus one speed will be neutralized and I can still outspeed that thing. 
So I thought the set was actually really good. Um, again, shout out to Goldo, Goldo a Dragon for coming up with this set. But uh, yeah, I, I expect this set to put in work this week. Um, it really did in all my mocks. So it just basically came in and just like revenge something. So uh, next we got Angel Argerachi um, with the Assault Vest, Serene Grace, Iron Head, Zen Headbutt, U Turn, Fire Punch. Uh, with 236 HP, 164 attack with an adamant nature, 4 defense, uh, 44 special defense, and 60 speed. Um, so this thing basically is the closest thing I have in, to a switch into Nagana Doll. Um, it can take uh, plus 2 fire blasts, or obviously like 2 fire blasts um, from full. So I thought that was com like absolutely necessary. Um, and it all goes back with Zen Headbutt. Um, Iron Head is just for the flinch game in case it comes down to that. U turn is just for nice pivot and fire punch is basically hit to hit the fair throne because fair throne comes in every single time unless if I have fire punch. Um, so yeah, so this thing is um, it's not really a switch in unless if I predict him to nasty plot or sludge bomb or sludge wave or sludge bomb or Draco Meteor or something like that. Um, it's not really a switch in, especially because it's kind of obvious of a switch in. Um, it's not necessarily obvious, but you know it's a it's, it can be predicted pretty easily. So um, this isn't 100% of the time I switch in, um, but you know it. Like even if he gets a plus one, plus uh, or plus two, plus one speed, um, I can come in with this and just come with a Zen headbutt and not have to worry about the uh, the fire blast or flamethrower, dark pulse or whatever he wants to go for, unless if he flinches me, I guess, or burns me. But hopefully that's not the case. Um, but yeah, this thing is basically like. My only Nagano Dell switch in, like I said, slash check. So um, I thought this thing was vital here. Um, we got next up. We got Pyro, Pyro, sorry, Pyro, the Chandelure with Culverberry, Flashfire, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Substitute, Taunt. Um, with 124 HP, uh, four defense, four special defense, max special attack, and 124 speed with a modest nature. Um, this thing outspeeds. Um, sorry, I don't exactly remember what this thing was made to outspeed. Um, oh, this was meant to outspeed a uninvested Uxie. Um, so that thing basically just creeps uninvested Uxie. Um, and I just basically poured the rest into the, um, the special attack and then just made it to where substitute, um, like has the optimal, uh, HP. Um, and especially for rocks and stuff like that. So originally this set um, was Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Substitute, Toxic. Um, but some of the guys in my front office thought that Taunt would be better than Toxic. Um, and I didn't, really, I didn't really click Taunt at all in my mocks, but I didn't really think it was like necessary to change it because they thought it was going to be better. So I just kept Taunt, but um, honestly, like I'm recording this after the battle. And um, honestly, like it would Toxic would have been way better. Um, so I kind of regret not bringing Toxic, but it's all right. Um, so anyways, so this thing kind of runs through his team. Uh, I can pretty much get a free substitute off on um, Ferrothorn, as this is pretty much my only switch into Ferrothorn. I mean, I have other ways to pivot around it, but this is my primary uh, switch into uh, Ferrothorn. So that's why we have the Culver Berry in case he packs knockoff or whatever. And like I said, Flamethrower and Shadow Ball pretty much uh, nukes everything. Um, his primary switch in is uh, Mandibuzz, most likely. Um, but unless if he's especially defensive, uh, Flamethrower, two shots. Um, so I thought that was good. And like I said, once I get a substitute up, um, I can pretty much just hit everything for big damage. So um, this is one of my main offensive threats against this team. So um, I expected to put in some work here. Um, next up, we got Man Thing, the Cradilly, uh, with Leftovers, Storm Drain. Rock Slide, Toxic, Recover, and Stealth Rocks. Uh, with max HP, max special defense with a careful nature, and uh, four attack, and 20 speed EVs. So what that's about is um, this basically outspeeds, I wanted to make this as slow as possible, so Ferrothorn's um, so Gyro Balls would be doing as minimal damage as possible in case it came down to that. Um, but I also wanted to outspeed a mud sail. So this is basically what it came down to. Um, so this is how much I had to put in to outspeed a mud sail and like as minimal as possible um, with the with the 20 IVs. So um, that's what I ran here. 
Um, Rock Slide was pretty much to hit the Rotom. This is my primary switch into Rotom. Um, Overheat's doing a good chunk, but um, it'll drop his special attack, obviously. So that can just recover off the damage, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, Toxic is good for pretty much everything on his team, except for like Ferrothorn and stuff like that. Um, Recover is just obviously good. Recovery, obviously. Um, and then Stealth Rocks are just really good against his team to wear it down. Because um, his, his team really likes to pivot. So um, once I can get Stealth Rocks up, it kind of limits his uh, pivot ability. I don't know if that's a word, but his ability to pivot, I guess. Um, so yeah, so like I said, this is my primary switch in um, to the Rotom Heat. It's also switch in to Mandibuzz to a level, as I don't really have the best switch ins besides like Top of Finny, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this thing, um, like I said, primary to Rotom. Um, Earthquake might have been better, um, but then it can't hit the Rotom. And so I just thought Rock Slide would be the best move. And it's Stab. It doesn't really hit the Fair Throne at all. Um, it does decent damage to Nagana Doll if it comes down to that. Oh, and this can also live a Draco from a Nagana Doll, which is interesting. Um, but anyways, so this is my uh, Cray Daily set. I thought it would be pretty good here. Uh, leftovers, we were kind of going back and forth between the items because um, I didn't really want to get tricked by the Rotom. Um, so, like, at first, I was, like, I wanted to run, like, a Z move that was unusable, like, Electrium Z or something, since this thing doesn't get any electric coverage, but I didn't know the rules on that. Um, and then they decided, they thought I should run Iron Ball, but then I undersped the Mudsdale, so in case it was, like, a sub Mudsdale or something like that, something weird, um, I couldn't outspeed it and get a Toxic off. So I didn't think the Iron Ball was good. Um, and then, like, I thought about running Mail, because that can't be tricked. But, and I just decided on leftovers just to get the, the recovery. I just thought the recovery was fine. Um, I didn't think it was that big of a deal if I got tricked. As I can just like set up my rocks and just come in toxic something next time or whatever. So yeah, so I ran leftovers, um, like I said. Um, so yeah, so next we got our Tapu Fini, our Nammer, uh, with the Kibia Berry, Misty Surge, Moonblast, Nature's Madness, Defog, and Taunt. Um, with 204 HP... Uh, 68 special attack and 236 special defense with a calm nature uh, this thing is also semi a check to nagana doll um, it can after um, the kibia berry pops i can basically get three hit ko'd by um, a sludge wave so um, i thought that was useful so basically if i come in at full i can nature's madness that thing while he goes for sludge wave or nasty plots or whatever and i can um cut his HP down to half, and then if he sludge waves, he'll pop my Kibia Berry, but then the next one won't KO, and I'll get a Moon Blast off. Um, and then that will KO it with the investment I have, unless if he's like super bulky. Um, and then Defog's just good for getting rid, getting rid of hazards for my like uh, Chandelure so that thing doesn't get too whittled down. And then uh, Taunt is really good for like things like Mudsdale, um, setting up Stealth Rocks, or Clefable um, if he's a setup set. Um, this kind of walls. This is kind of meant to wall, um, Keldeo, Clefable, um, stuff like that, and then it checks Noggin the doll. Um, so yeah, so I thought this set was really good. Um, uh, originally we had Light Screen over Defog, I believe, or maybe it was over Taunt. Um, so basically, it would make um, the Sludge Wave a four hit KO. Um, because then I would take I would take 33% at max after the QB Berry, set up the light screen, take another 33%, um, click Nature's Madness, and then click uh, Moon Blast after I take another 33%. But I didn't think that was as worth it because it's basically the same um, same damage. Um, I'm just clicking an extra move, and it's kind of wasting a slot. So I didn't think that was as good. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna stop talking about the battle, or uh, stop, stop, sorry, stop talking about the team, and, uh, let's just hop right into the battle. Alright, so we're back, guys. So, um, looking at the team he brought, he brought Mega Glalie, Glalie, yeah, Mega Glalie, um, Muzzle, Clefable, Naganadel, Mandibuzz, and Ferrothorn. Um, nothing was really too surprising besides Mega Glalie. Um, it does have a decent matchup here, it really does. Um... So, looking at his team, I thought, well, Rabami really looks good against everything here. Um, if he leads Ferrothorn, I can um, switch out into my Chandelure, no problem. Um, and it pretty much just applies really good offensive pressure here. Um, the only thing that would be bad is 
um, that he could lead is Omega Glalie, to be honest, because um, I can't really... I can't really switch into that thing to be honest. Like I really, I prepped for it, but I really didn't like. I didn't put enough effort into, it, I guess, to like make anything decently switch into it. So I didn't really have anything that I want to switch in. So as long as the Meg Lily doesn't lean, um, we will be good. Um, so we're just gonna let this. We're gonna skip it a little bit. There we go. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna be leading the Ramami. Um, early sticky webs and early moonbots on anything will be good, as he does unfortunately lead the Mega Glalie. Um, so I just start like running all sorts of calcs and I'm just thinking like I can't really switch into this thing like Glade possibly could switch in but like his HP is too valuable. So I just decide um, to go for the moon blast and um, You know just just let this thing go down and like it wasn't the probably wasn't the best option But I really didn't want to let anything else go down um, So I click moon blast it does about 75% 80% does give them a sp attack, special attack drop and he does just go for the return, and I know that will KO me um, with the Glaciate. Um, as he does get a crit, and that each pretty bar was falling pretty slow, so maybe he forgot to put um, Friendship on, which I think I would have lived, but um, either way. Um, so here, I'm going to just go on my uh, Mega Gallade, because I know I can just revenge this thing. Um, so here, I'm just going to click Ice Punch. Um, it covers any sort of switch in he wants to go for, in case he does, and it still picks off this uh, Mega Glalie. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Ice Punch as it does pick off the Mega Glalie, um, which is pretty nice. Like that, that thing was a pretty big threat, to be honest. As he does go out into his Clefable, the Jean Grey. Um, and so here I totally expect it to be a unaware set with like Calm Mind. So I'm going to go out into my Pyro, Pyro, excuse me, um, out into my Pyro um, as he does just go for the Cosmic Power, actually. Um, so here I'm just like, I have to taunt this thing. Like, I have no other choice but to taunt this thing. Like, I can't keep letting it set up. Um, as he does withdraw, um, and goes out into Bill Star, his Mudsdale. Um, so here I just taunt the Mudsdale. Um, which wasn't that big of a deal. Um, so here I'm just like, I don't really have a great switch into Mudsdale either. So I decided to go on to my top of Finny. I know I can live two earthquakes unless if he's like super offensive, um, which I don't really expect him to be. Um, as he does make it, as he does double out, which was a really good play out into Nihilus, his um, Nagana doll. Um, so here I know, and I talked about in the team builder that I can live two sludge uh, waves no matter what. Um, so he clicks the sludge wave. I eat my Kibia berry, no problem. Um, as I do go for the Nature's Madness to cut his HP in half, and I thought, at first, I don't know why, but I thought I missed, and I was really upset, but I didn't miss. Um, so here, I 100% know I can live another one. Um, I possibly could have switched out into my, um, Jirachi, but I didn't. And we actually see me go down without a crit, and I was really confused. I'm gonna pause it. I was really confused why that was, um, because there was no, no damage calc that, like, ever let that like never let me take such low damage from that first one and then um take so much from that second one so like i was crazy confused the entire battle and it really like that play really screwed me over the fact that i couldn't get rid of his not gonna del um as my glade like easily runs through his team with the not gonna del gone and stealth rocks up so i was really upset about that play and then i like i was so confused and then he tells me after that he's actually metronome not gonna del and that, I'm just going to say that right now. That is such an amazing bring on his part. Like, that, because most things that, like, Jirachi and um, Tabu Fini, I'm made to, like, live two of any hits. But with the Metronome, I can't take two of any hits. Um, um, so, that's just, I just want to say that's an amazing bring on Jerry's part. Um, so, anyways, so he's going to get the, he's going to get the KO. He's going to get the Beast Boost of Speed. Um, so now I, now I know I can go out into Angel, my Drachi, um, and I do expect him to switch out here, um, but I can't really make any other play besides the Zen Headbutt, because if he does decide to go for the Fire Blast, then I'm kind of in a tricky situation. So I do just go for the Zen Headbutt, I expected the Ferrothorn to come in, but I really didn't want to make that read right then and there, um, in case that wasn't the case. Um... So I'm going to take a little bit of Iron Barbs. Uh, we're going to see he's Leftover, not Aka Berry, which was interesting. Um, as I'm just going to go hard out, because I didn't want a U-turn, because obviously I'll get more Iron Barbs, Iron Barbs chip, which was not optimal. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go out into my pyro um, and he's gonna leech team me. So here, if I see leech team, I automatically thought he was gonna protect the next turn. Um, so I decided this was a basically a free turn to get my substitute up. Um, sure, it does take down like it does get me really low plus the leech seed, like leech seed plus the substitute. But uh, you know, I I thought it would be good for like things like Mandibuzz if that thing wants to come in, um, just to basically get free damage. So he does go for the protect, and I do go for the substitute. Um, so here I can easily easily kick, click uh, flamethrower. And he does go on to Lady Hawk, his uh, Mandibus. So based off this damage that we're about to see, it does, um, I'm gonna let it run through. But we do see it do about uh, 35, 40% um, plus the leftover. So uh, after the, at that point, I thought, like I 100% thought he was a specially defensive one, which was interesting because um, I thought he'd be physically defensive for my Glade, but guess not. So I just clicked uh, Flamethrower again. Arguably, well, not arguably. The better play was to taunt, um, but if I had Toxic, that would have been perfect here. Um, but I don't obviously have Toxic. The play was there was to taunt 100% of the time um, because then I Flamethrower, he breaks the Substitute next turn, and then I Flamethrower again to get the KO. Um, but that wasn't the case scenario. I made a misplay there. Um, and it kind of bites me in the butt because he gets all the way back up to full HP, and I'm down to forty, about 25%. I think I could substitute one more time, but um, I just got into my man thing as I do expect the foul play, which we do see, um, which doesn't do very much. It does about 25% ish, 20 25%, which was not that big of a deal. Um, so we're just going to get some leftovers recovery. And so here he's just going to go for the U turn, which I thought was interesting that he actually, he actually had U turn. Um, but it wasn't expected, like, I expected him to switch, but just U-turn was pretty interesting in my in my opinion. Um, which meant he either didn't have Defog or Toxic. Um, so I just go for the Stealth Rocks, just want to get those up, um, just to kind of start whittling things down. Um, at this point, having my uh, Pyro Solo and my uh, Rubombi and my Tapu Pini gone, I was pretty much just looking to the end game. I'm like, how do I set this up so my Glade can sweep? Um, and I thought the only way I could do that is if I can get Glade plus Trey Dilly or some, some sort of combination of two mons like that. Um, so here anyways, I'm kind of behind, but I go out to my Drachi, he's going to leech seed and I just go for the fire punch. It does about, uh, 67 percent ish, uh, 65, 70%. Uh, so he does set up a spike, which was super annoying because that means I can't, uh, substitute again. And I'm going to take some more iron barb damage. Um, and he's just gonna get some lefties and my leech seed back. Um, so here I expect him to protect, to be honest, just to get a bunch of his HP back. Um, so I, I double out, uh, go back into my pyro. Um, like I said, I expect him to protect here. Uh, as he does, in fact, go for, uh, he does double out, I'm sorry. He doubles out here, goes out into his bill star. And, um, I needed damage on this thing anyways um, for my Mega Glade, so I decided to go for the Flamethrower um, to uh, scout if he's like AV or what he is, and by the looks of that, 25%, he is 100% AV. Uh, there's no way around it, as he does just go for the Earthquake and pick me off, which was super annoying, but uh, it wasn't the end of the world. Um, so here, um, I'm going to let my Pyro go down, um, and like I just keep losing mods, and it's just not looking good for me, but... Uh, um, here, I'm just gonna go back out on my Cradilly. I expect him to have he Heavy Slam, to be honest, but I really just want to Toxic this thing, get it on a timer. Um, as he does make the smart play out into um, Ferrothorn, as he does know, I can't really touch it unless I have Hidden Power Fire, um, which I don't. Um, so here, I'm just gonna Toxic, and um, it's obviously not gonna do anything, and we're just both gonna get some leftovers recovery. And I started thinking to myself, I'm like, I need this thing to stick around. Um, so I click the Recover, just to keep it around as long as I can, because um, this thing is part of my end game at this point. Um, as he does go for the leech seed, um, so here I didn't really expect him to double leech seed. I expected him to like gyro ball or something like that. So I go out to my angel, my Drachi, take some spikes damage. As he does actually go for the double leech seed, which was a really good play. 
Um, to be honest, like really, I didn't have any other play besides switching out. So like you could just keep spamming leech seed until I actually do switch out. Um, so here with the leech seed and with the leftovers, it's gonna put him out of range of another fire punch, which was super unfortunate, especially if he protects right here. But he doesn't. Um, so we're gonna bring him down really low. Um, take some iron barbs. Um, and he's just going to go for the seed bomb. So we know his full set. Seed bomb, spikes, leech seed, protect. Um, and right here, after the uh, leech seed drain, I am going to go down. Um, so now I'm down to my last two mons of uh, Jirachi, or not Jirachi, Prey Dilly and um, Gallade. So I'm like, okay, I have to go Gallade here. My Prey Dilly isn't doing anything, even with the Rock Slide. I have to flinch him like three times. Um, so I'm just going to go my Gallade. I could have Sword Stance here, and I was really tempted to Sword Stance here, um, but I just go for the Ice Punch because I'm. I was thinking I'm like, if he's uh, if he's unaware Clefable, it doesn't matter. My Sword Stance won't matter, and so he does go the Clefable. Um, but and then here we actually see him take Stealth Rock damage. So I was super upset at myself for not um, for not clicking uh, the Sword Stance. Um, but here I'm just gonna go for the Poison Jab as I know I know it will two shot him. Um, but he is actually Kibia Berry, which is a really good, really good bring on his part. Like, he, these sets are really good, like, honestly, against my team. Um, and he goes for the Moonboss. I know I'll live one unless if he's, like, super offensive. Um, and I'm just going to go for the Poison Jab again. I didn't really have any play. I could have switched out into Cray Dilly, but then he could have, uh, easily just gone Noggin Adele and just swept from there. Just click Sludge Bomb, or Sludge Wave twice. Um, so, didn't really want to go out into my Cray Dilly. Um, so I just let this thing go down as we do actually get the poison, uh, which is perfect to, in a sense, um, that it lets me get, um, this, uh, cliff able. So now he just gets a free switch into Mudsdale, which I mean, honestly, like I would have KO'd it and gotten a free switch in it anyway. So it didn't really matter. The poison didn't really matter. Um, so I have to go my Credilia. Obviously it's the only thing I have left. Um, as we do take some spikes and, he, uh, I'm going to go for the toxic. At this point, I'm just praying that he doesn't have the uh, Heavy Slam, but I'm pretty sure he will if he's an AV set like we um, expect him to be, as he does have the Heavy Slam. Um, that'll do about uh, 60 to 75%, just depending. Um, we see it do about uh, 70%. Um, so we're going to get some lefties. He's going to take some uh, poison. And from here, I'm just going to try to um, recover stall him. Um... So yeah, so I'm just going to click recovery. He's just going to keep clicking heavy slam. That's just kind of the cycle we're going to go through. Um, I'm basically just trying to recover stall him until I can get down to a point where um, I can rock slide flinch him. Um, that's pretty much my only play to get this differential a little bit better. I know I can't win from this point. but uh, So I'm going to uh, recover here again um, as he will go for the heavy slam again. Um, so I'm going to recover, get back to about 75%. He will go for the Heavy Slam, um, and it brings me really low. And uh, so I'm going to get some lefties recovery. He's going to take another turn of Toxic. Um, so from here, this is pretty much the point that I was talking about, like I needed to Rock Slide flinch him. Um, so I go for the Rock Slide, um, and it does about zero. <laughs> and I uh, he gets a Stamina Boost, and he actually does flinch. I kind of spoiled that a little early, but he does flinch, which was perfect. It, I mean, it wasn't going to win me the game um, necessarily, but um, you know, it it got it got me a little bit a little bit better differential, um, which I'm not too mad about. So here he's just going to go for the go into the Nihilus, um, and he gets a free sludge bomb or sludge wave here. No no doubt about it. Um, I was just kind of like praying he would go for an inaccurate move and just miss for some reason, <laughs> but he doesn't. He makes a smart play. Um, so good game to my boy Jerry. Um, we lose 2-0 here, which was kind of kind of sucked, but um, you know I didn't play the best, and uh, his sets were fire against my team. To be honest, like I was I was not ready for that metronome not gonna dull. Like that was that was great. Um, so anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the battle. Um, it sucks we couldn't pull out a win, but we'll get him next time. Um, subscribe if you're new, like the video, leave a comment down below saying how much you liked it or hated it. Either way. Um, I will see you guys next time.